Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. I'd like to welcome you to Monday, the 11th day of September, 2023. Our topic today on the Seas of Destiny is the gains of putting God first. The Bible says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6, 33. Thought for the day, when you put God first, you cannot come last in life. Now, it has been established that the God-first mentality is key to outstanding existence in life. People who bow before God always stand out in life. When you put God first, you cannot come last in life. In our contemporary world, there are people who impacted their world by virtue of their kingdom-first mentality or their kingdom first addiction or addiction to God. We'd like to highlight one of them in our study today, and that is Sir Isaac Newton, who was one of such men. He stood out in life because of his addiction to God. He was an English mathematician, a physicist, an astronomer, a theologian, and an author who is widely recognized as one of the most influential scientists of all times. He was a key figure in the scientific revolution. His book, Mathematical Principles of Natural Philosophy, first published in 1687, laid the foundation of classical mechanics that has given rise to cars and all manner of things. Newton formulated the laws of motion and universal gravi gravitation that formed the dominant scientific viewpoint. Newton built the first practical reflecting telescope and developed a sophisticated theory of color. He also formulated an empirical formula or empirical law of cooling, made the first theoretical calculation of the speed of sound and introduced the notion of a Newtonian fluid. In addition to his work on calculus as a mathematician, Newton contributed to the study of power series, generalized the binomial theorem to non-integral exponents, and he developed a method for approximating the roots of a function and classified most of the cubic plane curves. What was his secret? All this that he did, Sir Newton was a devout Christian. Beyond his work on the mathematical sciences, Newton dedicated much of his time to the study of biblical chronology. Newton was a first-class Christian who was an ordained priest. Yes, he was. He wrote more on homiletics, the art of preaching or sermon preparation, than he wrote on all these physics and mathematics that I just talked about. He put God first in everything in life. Beloved, put God first and you will never come last in life. Praise God. Remember this, that when you put God first, you can never come last in life. What's our assignment today? Number one, make up your mind to put God first in all that you do. Number two, deploy yourself to the advancement of a cause of God on earth. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord, I receive the grace to put you first in all that I do. Help me to be addicted to you, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So we'll go right ahead. I encourage you to go through your Bible reading for today. But before I go forward, I'd like to pray for somebody who is not yet born again. Jesus is not yet the Lord of your life. You cannot talk of putting God first when he's not even part of your life yet. So you want to be born again today, simply pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. 
I know I'm a sinner, I need your help. Please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Congratulations. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. We're reading Daniel chapter 4, 5, and 6 today. Be sure to uh, follow up on the Bible reading, and I believe that you will be blessed in Jesus' name. It's your birthday today. I want to wish you a very happy birthday. As your day is out, so shall your strength be. My God, cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. In Jesus' name, God bless you.